My name is Linda Oji. Um, I was diagnosed of breast cancer around April in Nigeria. Um, initially, I didn't know what it was. I just noticed some things in my right breast. You know, I tried to find out what it was and they kept on telling me it was an hormonal change or something like that until I went for a check and um, I was diagnosed of breast cancer. I got scared naturally. Uh, my blood pressure rose very high. They started treating me for that. I tried so many options. While I was trying to decide on what to do, I wanted to even see how I could conserve the breast without removing it because of the psychological effect and um, I started one chemo, one session of chemo. Eventually I was advised to come over here for the treatment and um, well, I took it by faith, probably that's how God wanted it and um, um, on getting here they did further diagnosis and um, I was advised that that's actually the best form of treatment, that it's better to take out the breast entirely so that to avoid spreading elsewhere and um, after we did the surgery thank god i didn't really have any side effect as i thought i was gonna have actually before the surgery i was scared i was scared to death then i was thinking how am i going to cope with having one breast <sighs> my fiance what is he going to think when we continue with the marriage all sorts of things but like I am a Christian, I took it by faith and I said, look, the best thing is life first. After life, every other thing can follow. It's when you are alive, you can start thinking of childbearing. It's when you are alive that you can start, can start thinking of your husband and every other thing. And I took it by faith and um, luckily for me, and um, I prayed over it. We did the surgery, it was very successful. Um, they removed all the, um, um, what do you call it lip now? Notes. Lip notes. The lip notes and all that and the recovery according to them is um, moving according to plan and um, I'm feeling very okay. And I feel it's not the end of the world. In fact, I'm just okay. The only thing I'm waiting for is for me to just have something to put in there, probably like an alternative so that I can dress up and look normal and, and, and I know that once I can put on my bra. Nobody knows what is wrong with you except you say it, really. And um, even if they know what what is there, first of all, it's your life. Once you are alive and um, you are healthy, then every other thing can follow. Every other thing can follow. I don't think it's the end of the world. And my advice to people: yes, once you feel any pain, which is the mistake I made, I was actually feeling some pains some months before. And they were telling me all sorts of stories. Maybe it's because of the technology back in my country. But whatever it is, once you feel anything abnormal, just go for a diagnosis. Once you feel anything abnormal at all, go for a diagnosis immediately. So that you avoid, if there's an early um, remedy, they can do it immediately. But I still see it as early because while I was in the hospital, I've seen cases that are worse than mine and I still thank God that I'm alive today, healthy, and I have opportunity, and I pray that God will give me the opportunity to talk to other people and tell them that, look, you don't have to be downcast, you just have to be strong and do whatever the doctor says, follow your treatment plan, and everything will be okay. Uh, Miss Linda, patient, she is a 38-year-old female, and she's unmarried. Uh, she came to me with the history of a lump in her breast, which she diagnosed it on herself. She's from Nigeria and uh, she was not properly investigated in her country and she visited us and uh, on investigations I found that lump was malignant and it was a small lump to start with, it was almost 2, two centimeter in size uh, but during examination I noticed another lump in the, in the uh, close to the, uh, that one, it was a multifocal disease and she had a palpable lymph node also in the breast so I prefer doing a staging workup with the CT scan of the uh, abdomen, chest and the bone scan which showed the disease was only localized to the breast and uh, since uh, it was a multifocal disease and uh, there was also nodularity in the other quadrant of the breast so we uh, opted for uh, 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 modified radical mastectomy though both uh, options were with us but uh, 
because she was having a multicentric and multifocal disease and lymph nodes were present in the axilla so we preferred uh, MRM on her and uh, she underwent surgery. Post surgery the tumor, there were two tumors in the same quadrant of the breast and the total size of the tumor was 5 cm and uh, there was uh, two lymph nodes were present positive and uh, out of uh, 25 lymph nodes two lymph nodes were positive and she was strong ERPR positive and she was her to new negative so we gave her post uh, surgery we gave her six uh, eight cycles of chemo four cycles of AC and followed by four cycles of Texol following that she received radiation also because two lymph nodes were there lymphovascular uh, 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 embolization was there and it was a multifocal disease and uh, after that she is now started on tamoxifen and she's doing fine and we are uh, planning for uh, delayed reconstructive surgery after six months after completion of the surgery and uh, rest everything is okay with her okay when i came to <laughs> india came to nova hospital and uh, I met with uh, Dr. Rajinda Sagu and um, she actually advised me and told me the side effects of um, having that particular type of surgery and the advantages that it has over, you know, probably delaying further and doing uh, conservation and all that. And she was able to, you know, counsel me and put my mind at rest because initially I was actually skeptical and a bit worried. And I was also thinking, oh, would it affect um, childbearing part of it? But she was able to calm me down and counsel and say, look, this is actually the best um, form for now because by the time they do that particular type of surgery for me, um, it will give us a better chance of um, making sure that we don't have a reoccurrence, you know. And that, for instance, it's even better for you to know that you're cancer freedom for you to start thinking in the next few months what could happen if you had done this if you had not done that and all that then we went into surgery at least i went with a clear mind and i was comfortable and um, the treatment has been okay regular checking up from time to time she calls and uh, follow up has been okay has been wonderful and um i would just advise like i said earlier it's always good to Make sure you are in a safe hand. Probably because she's a woman, I don't know. <laughs> if you're with a woman and uh, somebody that understands, that has empathy for you, it's like she understands what I'm going through. So it puts, was able to put my mind at rest and um, make me to have that feeling that I'm in a safe hand.